HookahPro.com, your ultimate source for everything hookah. Find the latest tips and tricks, videos, reviews, contests, and more. Hey there, YouTube. Zach again from HookahPro.com, the ultimate source for everything hookah. As usual, Dave from HookahPro.com is also with us. How are we doing today? Um, tobacco review. Uh, this is our first Star Buzz me and Dave had for a while. Probably both of us since the uh, Months. Rose. Yeah, that the last one probably was the Rose. That was in winter, too, I believe. That was a long time ago. But um, tonight I wanted to try the uh, Star Buzz White Peach there. I've heard lots of good things. I've heard bad things recently, but I ain't too concerned because most of those people have been smoking uh, more uh, traditional types of tobacco. Changed it so wouldn't stay in that lovely plastic bag. Typical uh, Starbucks cut, very, very moist as usual. Um, not too many stems. I think we found one little one. And I think I saw another one or two in here. I can't see it on the top, but. Is that, uh, is that dyed or is that just natural? It looks almost yellow dyed. Yeah, it almost looks yellow. like the. Here, get you a close up shot there. Looks like almost like the um, social smoke um, color. And I know theirs isn't dyed. No. Theirs isn't dyed. I don't believe so. So, but the smell in this is very much like a peach, but definitely it's very strong too, almost, almost candy-ish like, like a flavor. It smells almost kind of like a, uh, a peach dum-dum. Dum-dum? Yeah. The suckers? Yeah, the dum-dum yeah, dum suckers. Yeah, dum-dum suckers, the little ones. Yeah. Those, it almost smells like those. There, I'll let you smell that out there. Yeah, I think you're right. It does. It's, it's kind of candy-ish. Yeah. yeah, it's almost almost candy. Almost. It does smell like a peach, but it's almost got that candy-ish uh, type hint in there. It smells so it makes, really good. Yeah, it makes it smell like a dum-dum. Smells good. So, um, got the Egyptian uh, KM going on here. Two quick light coals on a uh, Vortex bowl, since it is Starbuzz. So, uh, ice in the base. Dif have a diffuser here. Um, very first tip. We're going to see how this goes here, guys. I still taste that Earl Grey in there. That Earl Grey leaves quite a ghost flavor. Smoke. One more here. Excellent clouds as per Starbucks. That is, that's really good. Definitely is, I will say this is a delicious flavor. It actually is pretty good. Not close, like I said, as the smell. Not too close to an actual peach. But it is pretty good. It is, like I said, almost it's almost a candy. It doesn't taste like a dum dum, it smells like a dum dum, but it's still got that candy-ish uh, type flavor in there. Almost, it is very candy, like almost. Um, That's your typical Starbucks. It's, it's not a typical Starbucks. It's it's good. I like it, but um, I definitely like almost uh, definitely not as fresh as you think a nice peach would be itself. I agree. Um, definitely would recommend this if you're uh, just starting out. Yeah, Starbuzz is kind of expensive, but for uh, newbies, uh, Starbuzz is a good flavor to start on Definitely. because of the candy-ish type flavors until you get used to it, you know, and you're ready to try some traditional tobacco. We had a cotton one around. There we go. But yeah, definitely would recommend trying this. Like I said, if you're a newbie or if you do like the candy flavors and that's what you like, that's your thing. So I want to try it because I've heard so many people rant and rave about it. Like I said recently, I've heard a lot of people say they're sick of it, but those people have smoke more traditional tobaccos and they're not used to the candyish flavors anymore, so. Uh, ratings wise, I, I'm going to give this one a, uh, a minus, actually. A minus. It's on the uh, top portion of my scale, so because I actually like this. Uh, peach is a good flavor. If you can get it down, it's a good flavor. This isn't totally as too peach, 
but it's, it's pretty good. If it was more of a natural peach, I'd probably give it an A. But I'm, just for that, I'm going to give it an A-. minus. For yours? Uh, for my ratings, uh, it's kind of it's like a lot of the shishas that I review and try out. You know, probably about an 8. You know, it's not like it's really great. It's really rocking my world. It's not like it's cheap or, you know, bad tasting. But I think maybe it's just a solid 8. It's a good flavor. I would order it um, if I was looking for a good Starbucks flavor. I personally like it. And on a little side note here, actually, past like two reviews, I think, I'm always taking the first hit off you to show you know what the first hit's like. And um, this one, I actually didn't have to pull the wind cover off. Usually after about two hits, I have to take the wind cover off because they've gotten harsh. Yeah. Even on my little mini Maya review, I had to take the wind cover off after like three hits or so because it was already harsh. This surprisingly isn't. I don't know, maybe I packed it better. Who knows? I don't know. Fucking knows, so. But it's good. Well, that about does it for uh, this review. This has been Zach and Dave from HookahPro.com. The ultimate source for everything hookah. Make sure you check Hookah Pro out for lots of tips, tricks, videos, reviews, contests, uh, vendor coupons, discount codes, lots of things, lots of great people. Great people. You'll be accepted even if you don't know absolutely nothing <laughs> about <laughs> hookah. We're willing to teach you. We're willing to share you all of our knowledge and information. So... Till next time, uh, we'll catch you guys later. Take care.